What's up, Fit Fam? Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to start the transformation of my spare bedroom gym. So you guys have seen a million times, whether you're on my Instagram, my Facebook, my other YouTube videos, that all the magic happens right here behind this door. Now I've never really shown you behind the scenes what's going on, um, what's on the other side of the room. I've only shown you right in uh, the thick of it, uh, the horrible paint, the uh, no matting on the floor, just the basics. So I have roughly about four months or so before our garage gets built. And until then, I still need a place to work out that's a little bit more functional for me. So let's go ahead and head in. So now that I've shown you around the room, you understand that I need something so much more functional than what I have going on right now. So back behind you is my deadlift platform, basically what you guys see on the surface of Instagram and my YouTube videos. So we have the ugly pea green uh, paint. That is awful, awful, awful. I can't take it anymore. I need something better. I need something that's a little bit more me. Behind me here is all the storage that I am going to basically just get rid of. I have no place to put it since, like I said, our garage is not built yet. So I'm gonna have to kind of probably just shove it out into my dining room until I can figure out what to do with all this stuff. But this is what I'm working with. So in just a matter of days, I'm gonna turn this into a functional at home gym. So, if you guys are ready, I'm ready, let's go ahead and jump in.
you guys ready to see the final finished project. I know it has actually taken me longer to get this done than I had originally intended. Um, I decided to get some last minute purchases, which if you guys are struggling with uh, UPS, USPS, FedEx, any type of shipping right now, it's insane with the holidays and due to COVID and all that stuff. So shipping has been taking a lot longer than I had originally intended. So the last little pieces that I've been waiting on finally arrived. And so let me go ahead and show you what I've been working so very hard on and I am so super pumped to use it every day and to get the full effect until our garage gets built. So let's go ahead and head in. All right guys, here is the final finished product. It has been well needed and I'm super pumped to be able to use this room to the fullest. So let me go ahead and give you a breakdown as to everything that I purchased um, or things that I updated as well as a price list for you. So in case you are wanting kind of to do the same thing um, if you're on quarantine or if you don't have access to a gym right now, you are able to update your space and make it usable for you. So if you are on a budget like I am and you want to make the most of smaller areas in your house, this is definitely for you. So let's go ahead and I will give you the breakdown. So one thing I did want to spend money on were stickers for my bumper plates, just to kind of give them a little updated feel, make it more fun. So this is a chocolate chip cookie, and then I have an Oreo cookie right here. Now the company that makes these stickers, I will link it in the description box below if you are also interested in this. They make um, stickers for bumper plates as well as the steel plates. So you just want to make sure that you read all the instructions to make sure that they're going to fit what you have. So they are working on a pancake sticker. They have yet to release it, but they did send me a little preview of it and asked for my input. So hopefully let's cross our fingers that it is released here shortly. Another thing that we did purchase was a brand new light. I'm not going to turn the camera up there because it'll blind you guys, but what I was really, really wanting and needing for this room is an updated light. There was a fan in here previously, so I always had to watch to make sure if I was always extending my arms or if I was lifting something overhead to not hit the fan. So we got a light that's pretty close to flush with the ceiling, so I have a lot more space. It's an LED light, so I don't have to worry about before. It took a long time for the light bulb to warm up. I had to turn the light on probably 10 or 15 minutes in advance. And so this light pops right on. It's bright right off the bat. Also, it seems to work well with the color of the paint in here because before, if you remember, the old light with the pea green walls, it was quite scary. So I'm gonna show you guys the other side of the room. And before you say anything, I want to show you that it is obviously not painted. Make note that this half of the room um, on the other side of this wall is our master bedroom. Once we're able to move everything from in here into our garage, this room is actually going to be um, renovated again. What we are planning on doing is extending our master bedroom into um, a larger walk-in closet as well as the bathroom that's in there. We're going to extend that as well. This room will pretty much be gone. It's gonna be broken into two separate rooms. So there was really no need to paint this side of the wall. You guys don't see it. My main concern was just making the area much more functional for me, which is what I did. So as long as I have my stuff in here, it really doesn't matter what I'm looking at, but it is kind of nice to have it cleaned up and things in a proper place. Now, if you guys are new here and you don't really understand what is going on back here, so I use this kind of as my streaming area. So I do stream on Twitch and I wanted to make sure that I had more of a functional area to do that. Now right back here guys is where all the fun stuff is. So I have my squat rack, I have extra selfie sticks of course, but back here in this corner I have everything that I use. So I have my log back here, my hex bar, way back here in the corner I have my new barbell, right behind my regular barbell is my axle bar. So I have everything stacked up here that I could potentially need during my workout. It's all right here in this room. It's not outside getting weathered. It's not freezing, no ice is on it. So it works really well that I'm able to have everything right here in this room. 
So this guy right here is what has taken this video so very long to be made. I've been waiting about two weeks for it to come. I ordered it on Amazon. It was fairly cheap. It was about $90. If you are interested in this as well, I'll put it in the description box below. So this piece of equipment I'm going to use as kind of a fully functional piece of equipment. Obviously, it is not made for that, but I wanted something that I can um, kind of customize. So you can do sit-ups on this, weighted sit-ups. Um, you can use it as kind of like a glute ham raise, things like that. My plan is, is to be able to use this as not only a glute ham, weighted sit-up. I'm hoping that it works okay for um, like a preacher curl, but I wanted something that I could do a variety of different things. So I think this is going to work out really, really well. All right, guys, that concludes my at-home, in-home gym renovation that I have so desperately been wanting slash needing. It's been a lot of fun being able to paint it and to make it kind of my own. Until next time, guys, don't forget to tap that subscription button because I'd love to have you stick around, as well as drop a comment below and let me know what you guys think. Is this something that you'd be able to do in your home? Do you have a spare bedroom that you could make your own? Even a space in the dining room for a very long time, I was able to just move some stuff in my dining room and I was able to bench press, um, do some light body work, stuff like that. You just gotta make it your own. But until next time, guys, I will catch you later.